In object-oriented programming, classes are like blueprints. They are schematics used to make objects. They simply tell you what you need to make the object and what that object will look like when it's done. First, you give it a name, something that would describe what it makes. In this case, some kind of spaceship. Next, you give it attributes, like how fast can it go? These can be pre-filled or filled out when it's constructed. Finally, we give it behaviors. Does it shoot lasers? Can we check if its landing gear is down? Classes can be extremely powerful and can be used to create any object you can describe. And I believe that was a private class. I'm calling security. Now, let's see how that looks in a programming language called Java. You begin by specifying the class's name and its visibility. In this case, public, meaning other classes in the program can access it. Next, you add the class's attributes. These can be specified now, like the top speed is 20, or specified later when it's constructed. Next, we add constructors. This is a method that will be called whenever we create a new spaceship. Here's a constructor that lets you choose the top speed. Now let's make behaviors or methods that can be invoked when we create our objects. How about one to change the top speed? Or one to check if the landing gear is down, which could be important. And that's classes in object-oriented programming. Thanks for watching.